Simmons. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What a moment for John Higgins. That needs to go in. That needs to drop. One inch perfect. And now the black for a famous victory. Yeah. And Higgins clears up with a magnificent 64 to snatch victory. One. Yeah. In the second session yesterday, he came out 13. and he was all at sea. Last night, he dug in and dug in. And Dave Gilbert will have nothing but admiration. He'll be upset. He thought it was a great chance to get to the final. But can that be well? It was only in August he made a 147 at the Crucible against Kurt Mafflin in the World Championship. You better believe it's the black for what would be his 11th 147 in professional competition, equaling the achievement of Stephen Hendry. No crowd, but who needs them because the players are cheering John on there. That was fantastic stuff. What a way to complete the day for John Higgins. Brilliant. Beautiful shot. One of the shots of the match so far. Found the gap in between the reds and pink. The red to the left of the bunch is a good little... Stopper for the cue ball. Hits the pink left side as we look. My, couldn't have had any better. Beautiful shot. Terrific oh. pot to start from wow. five. Looks like he's queuing to the bottom of the white ball here. Well, he's a uh, very interesting table. There's only one red up the, up the way there that would give him a problem. Yeah, he couldn't do a lot else. This is not an easy shot now to get on the black. He'd like to have been straighter. 112. Now, well, this is by far and away the most difficult shot so far. Oh, fantastic. Now, an angle on the black of any kind is handy. Is it going to drop? Is it going to drop? It is! Well, I thought he was supposed to be struggling. This is brilliant, and he's got the colours. Well, this is proof that form is temporary, but class is permanent. John Higgins makes his ninth maximum break, and look at that smile. But he's running into other reds. He's on nothing. Now, will he play the blue? It's a similar blue to what he played in the last frame, but is it the right shot to play the pot? It is if you get it. It's there. And the black. 
for the highest break of the tournament so far, and he's come from absolutely nowhere. Fantastic! Absolutely fantastic. If he was feeling down in the mouth before, he'll be feeling a lot better now. That's more One. Like Beat Mark Selby in the World Championships one of the years that he won. 12-10 down, he won 13-12 against Selby. And it's the best I've ever seen anyone play at the Crucible and lose that year, Mark Selby. He was absolutely sensational. And where John Higgins found that from, I'll never know. 25. He's done it lots of times. And all the players know he has to beat him. 88. Red to the left centre. They look to leave an angle in the black, I think. I don't think any of the three reds pot without disturbing them. 89. Just sneaked in to the right-hand side. So a cannon on the right-hand side red of these three. Yes, and the cannon has got to be quite firm here. Get the cue ball up the table a bit more. That's it. That's why he hit that a bit harder. Coming up, 129. Mm, we won't be happy with that. Has he done it? Softly, softly, let gravity take over. One. That looks good. Is it in? Is it going to reach? One. It certainly is. Well, he could get enough of the red to play the pot. And One. he's got it. What a shot that is. What a lineup. And he's got the red. What a shot. 72. One. Oh, but he played the plant. <laughs> this is tough. What a shot. What a shot that is. He's got a red to the middle pocket. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Does this red go, though? Well, when you say so brave, brave feet. heart from a Scot it would have to be, wouldn't it? But this was super. It really was. Tom Higgins, 56. I think that was a superb shot. This for a place in the final. He's played a double. He's played the double. He's played it. Four. A lot of other players don't spot. He spotted one there. Congratulations, John Gregan. Good mark, Gregan. Thank you.